We are back with a new set of tips and tricks that Excel has to offer. We will cover them all in this video. So, let's begin. First one is Shift Move. Do you want to know the time-saving way to move rows and columns around? Just highlight your row, hold down the Shift key, and on the edge when it changes to this symbol, click and drag it to the new location. It even works on columns. Hold the Shift key down, drag it and let it go. It's that simple. Next is Flash Fill. Flash Fill is a really simple tool and it'll save you a bunch of time. Let's say we have a list of names with last name, comma, first name, and we want to change the pattern to first name space last name. Let's just type in the first one the way we want it to look. Now all you have to do is highlight all the rest of the rows, select Data tab and click on Flash Fill. Or press Ctrl E and it applies the same pattern to the rest of these names. Similarly, let's say you have some phone numbers down here and we want it to look like this. Highlight the rest of those rows. This time again, we will hit Ctrl E. Here's the magic. Now, with Flash Fill, the only rules you have to remember is you need to make sure it's in the column to the right of the one that you are applying that pattern and you can't get too complex with the formatting. Other than that, it's a great tool to make you more efficient. Next one is Analyze Data. Another great time saver is Analyze Data, and you can find it on the right side of the Home menu. Just click on that and we'll go ahead and select this example data. It inserts it into the sheet and now it analyzes that data and provides different types of insights. For example, the sales by product and year for that data set is represented here, and I can insert that pivot table directly into my spreadsheet. Here's another one, rating by year and category. Let's go ahead and insert that pivot chart and you'll see it creates another worksheet, adds the data, and then creates the chart for that data. Now let's go back to the original source of data here. We'll scroll up to the top and you'll see that there's other suggested questions like the percentage of total sales for each product. Or insights for rating. It shows you that the rating increases over time and gives you a line graph of that information. You can also type your own. So let's take a look at total sales by category. For ratings over 30%. And here you go. In order to analyze your own data, you just have to click somewhere inside the table and then choose Analyze Data from the menu Quick Analysis tool. So, let's see Quick Analysis tool. One of the most overlooked tools in Excel is the Quick Analysis tool. Just take a set of data and highlight it, and in the bottom right corner you'll see this icon for the Quick Analysis tool. Click on it and you'll see all these different options and how to format your data. You can represent your data as data bars, change the color based on the values, different icon sets, mark all the ones over a certain amount, just the top 10%. You can also do charts. or do totals. Let's take the sum or the average. You can represent your data in tables and have it insert a pivot table based on certain criteria. Or pick sparklines, represent your data as a line graph, or come back here and clear the formatting. The quick analysis tool is anywhere you select a set of data in a table. Auto resizing. Here's a time-saving way to resize columns and rows. Just come up to the top and when your cursor changes to this cross symbol, double-click and it will resize that column. You can do the same thing for rows or select all the columns and rows. Double-click on any one of them and it will do all. Same thing goes for the rows. Next is Select Cell Entry. 
Here's a time-saving tip for you. Normally when you put data in a cell and hit enter, it goes to the next row below that. That's the default order Excel uses, but you can actually highlight cells in a different direction like across columns, and when you enter the data and hit enter, it goes in the order that you've highlighted. You can hold down the control key, select various cells in whatever direction you want, and if you hit tab once, then type your data and hit enter, it'll follow that order the way you've lined them up. Customize status bar. The status bar is this bottom bar down here. And if you highlight a bunch of cells with data, especially numeric data, you can come down to the status bar and see things like the count of how many cells are highlighted, the sum of all of those cells, and other information. But you can customize this by right-clicking on it. Here you can choose things like average, minimum, maximum, and a variety of other choices here. Now you can see that data on your status bar as you highlight different information on your spreadsheet. Another option here is workbook statistics, and when you click on that, it gives you some workbook statistic data, like the last cell in the sheet, how many of them have data in them, how many tables and formulas you have, and other information. Once you've made these selections, they'll stay that way until you change them. Remove blanks. Another time-saving tip. Let's say we want to get rid of the blanks in all of the scatter data. Just come up here to the Find in the Home tab, choose Go to Special, check on Blanks, and hit OK. Now you've highlighted all of the blanks within that range. Grab any one of them. Right-click and delete. We're going to go ahead and do Shift Cells Up. Hit OK and now it's removed the blanks from those lists. Remove duplicates. One more time-saving tip to remove duplicates from a list. Let's just highlight this range of names and ranks. Come up here to Data and look for this icon right here for Remove Duplicates. Click on that. And now you can choose both the name and rank where they're exactly the same. Hit OK and you can see it removed one duplicate value. Let's do the same thing, but this time just do it where the name matches. And now it removed two more. And if we do it again with just the rank, now it removes all but those three unique ranks. This tip becomes really helpful with large lists of data. Data from Picture Did you know you can insert data into your spreadsheet from a picture? All you have to do is come up here to the Data tab, select this option Picture from File or Picture from Clipboard. Now what I'm going to do is grab this snipping tool picture I took of the top grossing movies of all time, and I'm going to click copy up here in the right corner to copy that to the clipboard. Now back in our data, we'll select this picture from the clipboard. It analyzes the image and for review purposes it might need to check a couple of things like the spelling. When that looks good and you get through all the reviewed items, insert the data and it puts the data into your spreadsheet. And that's just a few of the time-saving tips that you can use in Excel. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see more videos, like and subscribe to this one, please.